Welcome back to video three. And in this video, we'll continue laying out the header and footer containers, the inner red containers. And then we'll set up our navigation in the sidebar and then populate some of our content pages with some, some content. And if we go back to the application, so this is what we got done so far. And what we want to start on is get, getting these red containers to stack side by side going across. Also, we'll set like certain widths to each of these containers. If you haven't seen video one or video two, I highly recommend checking them out. And like magic, you'll see it show up in, in the top right corner here. Click on that and that will be the playlist. Now to get these containers to stack next to each other, we'll go back to this page and you'll find this link down in the description among a few others. And what we'll do is, is we'll use the rel, then also use the space between on our header element and then also center. So this center will keep it center like this instead of having it stack against the top. So if our header has a height of, you know, it doesn't matter 500 pixels, it'll automatically center like this. And that's what we want. Copy this right here. Let's add this within our header element inside of the shared folder inside the components. And we created this header component in the last video, open up the HTML and inside the header element, I'll paste in that snippet I got off the website. So we're gonna be using the row, space between, and we'll center up all the containers at the center of the header element. Now we wanna set a width to each of these containers. Like this one, the search field container, I'll, I'll like that to be like 80%. So let's set that up. Right here, I'll use FX flex for that. And usually all my attributes show up within here. And whenever they don't show up here, that's a sign that I didn't pull in the module. And that's what we need to do. Let's open open up the shared module inside the imports we'll pull in flex layout module and there it is flex layout module and you want to bring that in from angler flex layout save this and I'll jump back into here and it should show up now so if I put in FX and there it is right there first one and this one I'm going to set to 20 and this one the search field I'm going to set to 80 and last but not least, the last one is gonna be back to 20. And that's it for our widths. Now, while we're here, let's set up some of our inner containers in these divs. So inside of here, we'll just have a home link. I'll keep it real basic. So here I'll add a div, I'll paste it in. And this link will reroute us back to the home page. I'll change this to home. And then here is a sign that we didn't pull in the module. Again, we'll jump back into the shared module, pull in our router module. All right, so we shouldn't be getting that error anymore. If we jump back here, and as you see, that error is gone for here. Here, I'll add in another inner container for our search field. And this just says search field component goes here. So, so normally you would create another component like for your search field, and then you just add that right here. And then within the last container, I add another link that will send us to our example page. So this will send us to the examples page whenever the, we click on that. And that's it for the header. Let's save this and let's check this out in the browser, make sure everything's working at this point. The page is looking great. And when we click on the home page, we get the full width. And when we click on examples, we end up back on this page. And now we're ready to set up the footer. The footer is very similar to what we just did in the header. We'll set this copyright outer container to like 80%. And also we'll set the links outer container to like 20%. And we could use the exact same flex layout row and then the flex layout line, we'll use the exact same thing as well. I'll copy this again. Inside of the footer component, open up the footer HTML and we'll add in our attributes inside of the footer element. And you probably could get away with changing this from center to star. I'll actually go ahead and do that. And now that will make our container stack at the top of the footer instead of at the center. It doesn't really matter because the footer height is not that much. But just in case we ever add height to the footer, I'd rather see all the containers at the top. And one more thing, we'll set a width. Um, we'll use FX flex again. And this one will be 80% on this one. And then this one will be 20. And then let's check that out in the browser real quick. And the footer is looking really good. So the copyright outer container is eating up 80% and 
and then the link's outer container is eating up 20. Now we're ready to move on to step two, and in step two, we'll set up our navigation inside the sidebar. So inside the sidebar, I'm going to just copy and paste this into here so we can navigate between the pages. And then step three, we'll add our content within the, our pages. And now inside the sidebar component, open up the sidebar component HTML. And all we'll do is add in two links right here. And that's all we need to do with that. That is done. Let's check that out in the browser. And now we have a couple links. We didn't really style anything, but that doesn't matter. And if we click on the row examples and the column examples, as you can see, they are working just fine. Now we can remove these links within the content. And I have big blocks of code. I'm just going to paste in the content pages like the row example and the column page. We'll just paste the code in there. Then also we'll style it out a little bit. So we'll add some styles to our style sheet. Let's start off with the style sheet, open up the main style sheet, and I'll put another block of CSS right here. And all this does is add some background colors and also set some height if you use any of these classes. I'm using the existing colors we already have. Also, one thing you wanna remove, we don't need this now, now that we're adding content. I was just using this to add some height, so we can get rid of that now for our content pages. I'll keep the background color, that'd be fine. And that's it for the style sheet. So you want to make sure you add something like this and we can shut this file down. We won't be back in here. And then we want to open up our content pages, just the column example HTML and also the row example HTML. And here I'll paste in another big block of code. And this is massive. And I just wanted to add a bunch of examples that you can see within the browser. And that's all this is. And also I wanted to add content to our content pages and you'll be able to find this on GitHub. Now let's take care of the column page and I'll paste in another snippet here. And that's all you want to do within those two files. Save this and let's actually see what this looks like in the browser. All that HTML I just copied and pasted is these pages right here. So it's just a bunch of examples that show you different layouts. And keep in mind, you could always just go to this page. It's easier if you want to see different layouts. But I just wanted some content to add to the row example page and the column example page. If you download this from GitHub, you could check it out, though. It's it's pretty quick way to get up to speed on different layouts you could use. Now that we are at this point, now we're ready for some responsive design. So if I try to minimize this browser, as you can see, we start squishing up so it's not responsive at all. In the next video, we'll start using some of Angular Flex Layout's media queries where we can start stacking some of these containers depending on the screen size. And we'll do that next.